Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Mutalo and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about on how to add a mods folder and update folder inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So guys, this is for PC modding only. So like always guys, make sure you go download all of the requirements that is in some of the description below and that includes OpenIV. So guys, I've got a lot of questions from you guys and this is basically for the newbies who are just starting to mod on PC. So guys, I've been getting these questions. Number one is someone said to me, Dryder, how do you add a mods folder? Number two, someone said, Dryder, how do you add an update folder? Dryder, how do you add a DRC pack folder? Dryder, where is time 64 V dot rpf file inside my mods folder so guys there's a lot of questions that i've got that came so i'm gonna sum it up in one video and this is the video that i'm gonna show you guys okay there is two ways to do this guys one way is the easiest way and the other way is the long way okay you can do it the easy way or the long way it's totally up to you guys okay so all you guys gotta do is go to your grand theft auto v game Hover over it, right click and open file location. As you guys can see, this is a complete new Grand Theft Auto V folder. There's absolutely no mods in here. So we are going to install the requirements first. Before we install the requirements, the most important thing you must do is go to your open IV. Open IV is the most important thing, so go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This may take a few seconds, it depends on your PC performance. Now go to your tools, go to ASI Manager, and then now, here we go guys, install your ASI loader, and next install your OpenIV.ASI, and then here you can create your mods folder. Select yes. Install your open camera and then click close and close your open IV. Now guys over here we've got a mods folder here. But before we do add things into our mods folder, let's go and install all our requirements. So make sure you guys do have your, your requirements and make sure that your requirements is up to date. Open up your script hook v extract folder, go into your bin folder and now select the input 8.dll and script hook v.dll. Drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. If this application opens up, all you gotta do is replace your files. Now open up your script hook v.net extract folder and then select your script hook v.net.asi.drl and .xml file and drag those three files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now the next thing we are going to do guys is that now we're going to work with our mods folder. Now open up your mods folder. As you guys can see our mods folder is empty. Now there's two ways to install your update folder. The first way is the easiest way. You can go inside my description, inside my downloads. You can download the update folder in there. And now it will take you a few seconds to extract it and download. Just copy the folder guys that came, that's inside the extract folder. And place your folder inside your mods folder. And it will take a few seconds and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now you've got an update folder inside your mod folder. And now you've got a complete clean DRC packs folder. That's one way. 
But if you guys want to use your own update folder, you can. I will delete my one. And you can go to your update folder over here. But going bad news. The reason why I said it's going to take a long time. Because once you go right click on your update folder. Go to properties. And as you guys can see, it's got 29.6 gigabytes. So it will take about a very long time to actually copy and paste so so copy your update folder guys go back to your mod folder and paste your folder there now guys i'm not gonna just sit here for ages okay what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to speed this video and i'll see you guys once the complete is up to 99 percent and welcome back guys sorry i uh, sorry uh, i was watching a youtube video and then it just finished um uh the 99 percent so Yes guys, as you guys can see now that the 26 gigabyte uh, file is, or uh, 29 gigabyte file is in here. So what we're going to do, okay guys, okay, to lower the the space is that you got to go to your update folder, go to time 64, go to DRC packs, and then what you're going to do, okay, is that you're going to delete everything that's inside your DRC packs folder, and then now it will be a clean folder now right there guys see and now your update folder is now have less space in it okay guys and now you got more space inside your DRC packs to add all of your mods in there okay guys so now you have completely got a modded folder here guys okay and you are now ready to add your mods inside your folder see guys so that's how you do it so guys, I hope you guys do like this video. Just to let you guys know that this video is only for the newbies, okay? Because I know uh, some of you know what to do, okay? And some of you know how to create eight uh, mods folder. And some of you guys know how to add an uh, update folder and etc. But there is some newbies out there that doesn't know what to do, okay guys? So, yes guys, that is it for now because I want to keep this video nice and short and easy. For the newbies okay so guys i will be uploading another video today okay so just keep an eye on this channel don't forget guys to make sure that you smash that like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new here so i will see you guys on my next video thank you for watching guys and i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys on my next video peace and i'm out